Okay, the first exercise that you're going to do, we're going to start off with your ankles. Now, if you have any ankle injuries or anything, then minimize what you can do. Don't do it to the extreme. You're just going to roll up to the balls of your feet and then rock back to your heels, back and forth. Rock back to your heels for me. So you're just going to go one up, two out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From there, you put your feet as wide as your shoulders, hands on your hips. Do hip rotations. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One. Follow along. Two. As Sabrina is doing it. Three. Make sure you're breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Now you're just going to gently twist. If you have any back problems, then minimize how far you rotate with this. So Sabrina, just get your elbows out and you're just going to pivot on your toes, twisting side to side. If you watch Sabrina's feet, she's pivoting as she's rotating her body. But if you have back problems or anything else, don't rotate as far. Let's do a set of 10. Go 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From there, we're going to work arms and shoulders. Now, if you have any type of shoulder injuries, make sure your arms don't go higher than your shoulders. Just keep it shoulder level or less. Make small circles going forward. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Five, or let's do ten going backwards. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, from here, we're going to work on your neck. And the whole point behind your neck is if somebody grabs you by the hair, twists your head a certain way, you're going to hear, you know, pops that might scare you. We want your neck to have a good range of motion so that, you know, we kind of deal with that. So Sabrina is just going to turn her head, look left, center, right, center, two, right, three, right, four, right, one more, five, and right. Now she's going to go up, look up, and look down. Nice and slow. Two. Based on your down range of motion. Three. If you ever feel pain down, then stop doing it. Four. And consult your physician. Down. Five. And down. Now we want to get your heart rate going. So Sabrina's going to get her hands up like she's going to be ready to block or protect herself. And she's going to work on doing some knee lifts. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, on a lower impact level, Sabrina might just do it knee to waist level. Go one, two, so it's not as high. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. If she has problems with balance, she could always hold on to a counter so that she's keeping her balance with that. Just do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. From there, jogging in place, Sabrina's just going to jog, jog along with her. If it's low impact, then she'll just kind of do baby steps or march in place. Medium impact would be a steady jog. And then those of you that want to go uh, a little bit more challenging, sprint. She's going to go as fast as she can. 
pick up the pace and you want to normally do this for about 10 to 15 seconds just to get that heart rate up and time from here uh, Sabrina's going to do jumping jacks now on a low impact basis this is where you're just going to step out step together and then alternate legs step out step together so Sabrina's going to do 10 of these low impact go one together two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good now your normal impact would be doing regular jumping jacks if if you we don't recommend these if you have any type of ankle knee or back injury but if you're able to do this to really get your heart rate up, we're gonna do 30 jumping jacks. So do these along with Sabrina. 30 and go. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. good all right from there how are we doing Sabrina doing good. we're gonna get into a mountain climber position so she's gonna put her hands down and she's gonna work on taking her elbow or her knee to her elbow just do one and hold okay and then she's just gonna alternate legs now low impact if you can't uh, stand up for me Sabrina if you can't get down on your hands and feet to do um, mountain climbers then you go back to doing knee lifts so she would just go back to doing whatever can she needs to hold on to the bar for balance she could hold on to the bar for balance and this will replace her doing mountain climbers those of you that are advanced enough to get down on the floor she's going to get down on the floor into a mountain climber position and she's just going to do 20 so do these with sabrina ready Go, one, two, three, four, breathe, five, ten more, and good, all right, stand up, now Sabrina's going to back it up a little bit, the next part she's going to do is going to be side squats, so she'll stand sideways, and she's just gonna, now when you do these, you wanna make sure that your knees don't go past your toes. So demonstrate it the wrong way, where she steps out, her knees go forward past her toes, and demonstrate leaning forward. So you don't wanna lean forward like Sabrina is. Uh, now let's do it the right way. She's gonna step out, arms, her arms will out be, be better. Her arms will be out in front. She'll squat, keeping her back straight, and then she'll step up and then she'll step through and go all the way down squatting back straight make sure your head is up breathing smile <laughs> Depending on how much room you have in your house, you might do it to the length of one part of your basement or living room and then work your way back. If you don't have a lot of room, then just do it a few times to make sure that you get challenged. Back straight and breathe. All right, from there, lunges. Low impact, those of you that have any type of a martial arts background, a low impact lunge would be more like a karate forward balance, where she's just gonna step, her front leg is bent, and her back leg is straight. Do another step. Now, uh, a, a medium level lunge would be where she steps, 
And then she does a little dip like she barely uh, takes her knee to the floor to kneel. One more step. And then the advanced lunge would be her stepping and kneeling all the way down to the floor, coming up. Kneeling all the way down to the floor, coming up. Go ahead and finish. And work your way back. So at home, while you're doing this, you go based on the skill level that you're able to do. Low impact is going to be more like that martial arts forward balance. Me middle impact to a slight kneel. Then high impact to the full kneel. Keep your back straight. There you go. All right, from here we're gonna do stretch kicks. Now, real quick on lunges, if you don't have a lot of space at home, you could do it, scoot up just a little, there you go. You could do it where you just step forward and do the lunge, step back, and then alternate legs in place, doing it in a, you know, so if you live in an apartment or whatever, you don't have a lot of room, you could just do it stationary and give me uh, two sets of 10. Do 10, rest, and then do 10 more, okay? Now from here, stretch kicks. Low impact would be if you need to hold on to something, she's gonna hold on to the bar, and she's just gonna go about waist level, swinging her leg up, alternating legs. Just switching legs, right leg, left leg. Right leg, left leg. This is also, if you don't have enough room in your house to move forward, you could just do it stationary. If you do have the room, then you do the stretch kicks. On a medium level, you'll go about waist to chest level. On an advanced level, you're gonna go as high as you can, head level or higher. So do a few middle level stretch kicks. Where you can see she's just going right about chest level. Now let's take it more to the advanced level where she's going up as high as she can, head level. And on the way back, go ahead and just do advanced level. Exhale as you exert. So breathe or blow out as you're swinging your legs up. All right, how are we doing, Sabrina? Okay, just remember you guys at home, you can take water breaks as many times as you want. Take a few steps up, Sabrina. Now from here, we're gonna go right into windmill. So Sabrina will get her feet as wide as her shoulders. Her arms will go to the side. She's gonna reach across her body, her right arm to her left foot and come up. Then her left arm to her right foot and come up. Do that for a set of time. Go one, down, up. Two, three, four, five. Exhales, you go down. Six, shh, seven, breathe. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Bring your feet together. Get your arms up. Take a deep breath. Hope you guys are all still following along. Exhale and reach for your toes. You want to hold the stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds. Each time you exhale, you go a little further until you put your elbows to the floor. And that's a joke, unless you can really do it. Slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time. And put your feet as wide as your shoulders, hands on your low back, gently arch your back back. If you have back problems or anything, then don't go back as far. Just do it within your abilities. And always train safely. Up. Take your arms up. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Reach down. Grab your ankles or touch the floor. Go as far as you can. Again, holding it for about 10 to 15 seconds or longer. And slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time. Outstanding. 
Now from here we're going to go to the ground and we're going to work on some of your core exercises. So Sabrina is going to lie down for us. Dun, dun, dun. Legs up. And we're going to work on just reaching for your toes. Ready? Go one up. Two, exhale as you come up. Three, four, five, how are we doing? Six, how are you doing at home? Seven, eight, nine, and ten. The big key to this is keeping your back flat on the floor. You don't want your back to arch. So if you're feeling it in your back, then you're doing it wrong. You want to keep your legs up, bring your head and shoulders off the ground, and try to touch. Now, uh, bring your legs back up. If you can't reach with your hands, then one of the things you can do is brace your hands behind your head so you're supporting your neck. So if you feel that there's strain in your neck as you're coming up, support your neck. Do a few of these coming up. She's just going to go up and down. Keep the chin to the ceiling. Three. There you go, four and five. So that's another option if you have any neck problems where you can brace your neck and just bring your shoulders up towards your knees. The second one, you're gonna roll to one side. Now these are side crunchers. She's gonna, Sabrina's gonna keep her bottom hand on the floor. Her other hand will be braced by her neck. And then she's going to bring her shoulders up and her feet up at the same time. Go one, two, exhale. These are three, some of Sabrina's favorite exercises. Four, five, six, seven. We're going to shoot for 30, right? <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten more. One. So follow Sabrina along, two at home. We're doing two sets of 10, three, and all these ab exercises. Four, exhale when you come up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Outstanding, give yourself a high five. <laughs> now, but wait, there's more. You gotta do the other side. Ready? How are we doing? And one, two, so the bottom hand, three stays on the floor, four, top hand, five, braces the neck, six, and you just work your elbow to your knee, seven, eight, as you bring your legs up, nine, ten more, one, two, three, four, Five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, make sure you're keeping up with nine, Sabrina, and 10. Remember, if you can't keep up, then just go at your pace. If you need to take a break and stop for a second, you can stop and then just resume. Now from here, Sabrina's gonna do bicycles. So both of her hands are bracing her neck. And she's going to work her left elbow to her right knee, one leg bent, one leg straight, and then the opposite elbow switching. Three, four, you want to keep your chin to the ceiling, five, six, keep your stomach tight, seven, as you can see, eight, the small of Sabrina's back, nine is flat on the floor the whole time, ten, let's do ten more, one, two, how are we doing, three, Sabrina, four, how are we doing? Good. Five, six, how are you doing at home? Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Okay, this next one is one of Sabrina's favorite exercises, as you can tell. <laughs> She's going to sit up. And you guys all know this, if you've done these workouts, scoot back towards the end, back of the wall a little. These are called V-ups. She's going to brace her hands, leaning back slightly, bending her elbows, and then she's going to bring her feet off the floor, creating a V. Ready? Go one, up, two, good. Three, exhale as you lift your legs. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take a break, stretch out your back or stretch out your legs, whichever one you feel. Do the same at home with Sabrina. And now, guess what? Sabrina's already ready. We're gonna do, smile Sabrina, we're gonna do 10 more, ready? And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're doing great, eight, nine, and 10. Hoorah! All right, smile, <laughs> come on up. Let's come back out to the workout floor out here. All right, Sabrina's gonna put her left leg forward and her hands are up. Now, just like self-defense, you don't wanna ever punch somebody because you might injure your hand punching someone in the skull. So she's gonna do open hand strikes, go left hand strike, right hand palm strike, and then she's gonna do a leg lift. Now, just like earlier, if you need to hold on to something when you're uh, doing your leg lift, grab onto a bar, a, a stool, or something that's gonna give you stability. Uh, and so she's gonna do two palm strikes, palm, palm, and then she'll grab the bar, and she'll swing her leg up. And we're gonna do that 10 times. Uh, if she's fine, then she'll uh, step out, and she'll just go palm, palm, swing, 10 times with the right leg. This is two, pound, pound, swing. Three, and then she'll do 10 with her left. Four, five, six. Exhale as you swing your leg up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Change legs. Again, medium impact, you're just gonna swing your leg up about stomach chest level. High impact, which is what Sabrina was doing, she was going head level or higher. Let's do 10 on this side, ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, exhale, tight stomach, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm trying to get a close-up of Sabrina's face to see if there's any agony going on in there. All right, from there, push-ups, hey. Now, from here, we're gonna do low-impact version first to demonstrate that. So if you have any type of back injury and, and you can't get on the floor, you're gonna hold on to the bar or wall where you just put your hands on the wall and you do wall push-ups. This is if you can't get get up and down off the floor that easy. So you're just gonna do, let's just do five to demonstrate. Now her feet are away from the wall so that her body is at an angle in towards the wall. Go one, two, try not to headbutt the wall. Three, as you're doing these, four, and five. A medium level push-up would be your actually hands and knees on the floor. You want to keep the back straight. Put your hands out. Sabrina's knees are staying on the floor. Hold on, let me get a better vantage point. Her knees are on the floor. Her back is straight. Let's just do five from this position. One. Two, three, breathe, four, and five, good. Now your next level, a little bit more advanced. Sabrina's knees will be off the floor. And when you're doing these, you, uh, regardless of what position on the wall, on your knees, or on your toes, um, you're gonna do two sets of 10 or 20, or do 30 seconds worth of as many push-ups as you can. Ready? Go one. Two, three, four, and five. All right, come on up. I think that's good for now, Sabrina. How about you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. The next thing, uh, Sabrina's going to do back leg lifts, where she's going to either hold on to the bar or a wall, or if you have a chair or stool at home, you could use that. Even your, uh, your kitchen countertop. 
So her uh, hands are on the bar, and all she's going to do is she's going to take her right leg and swing it straight back. Now, low impact, you just go waist level. Show me a low impact. There you go. Uh, and then as you feel comfortable or stronger, you can gradually take it higher, straight back. There you go. Okay. So she went way over her head on that one. So let's just do, you got to do a set of 10, and then you'll do 10 on the other leg. Ready? Go one. Do this along, two with Sabrina, three, and as you four lift your leg, you want to exhale, five, six, seven, eight, how are we doing Sabrina? Nine, ten, how are we doing at home? Change legs, ready? Go one, two, she's doing a lower impact, three, Four, now she's taking it up a notch. Five, six, there we go. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Outstanding. Now, this next exercise works your glutes. This is what we call the butt busters or low highs. You're going to keep your bottom leg or supporting foot pointed to the wall. As you lift your other leg, knee out, you're going to do a low kick like you're kicking somebody low in the leg. Recoil that back to your butt so you're working your hamstrings. Then you do a high kick as high as you can. And then recoil it back. Now, let me get a different angle so that you can see her recoil. Go one low, recoil, there you go, and then go high, recoil. So we're going to do... Uh, you're going to do 10 low highs and then 10 low middle highs. So just follow Sabrina along. If you can't go as high as Sabrina, that's okay. Just do the best that you can. Ready? Go one, low, high. Two, three, four, good. Five, if you can hear Sabrina, six, she's exhaling on each kick. Seven, eight, nine. 10, triples, one, low, middle, high, awesome, two, she's throwing a low kick, a middle kick, and a high kick, three, knee level, waist level, head level if you can, four, five, recoiling her foot back to her butt, six, or five, I don't know, <laughs> seven, we'll just add to it, eight, Nine and ten. Awesome. How are we doing, Sabrina? Doing the burn. <laughs> other leg, other leg. Ready? Low highs. Go one, two. You might want to adjust a little. There you go. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, triples, one, low, middle, high, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, are you guys keeping up with Sabrina? Nine, breathe, and 10. Awesome. How you doing? Okay, remember at home, if you need a break, if you need to get a drink, get one. Sabrina, do you need a drink or are you good? I'll take a drink. Okay, Sabrina's gonna take a drink. Take a break as well at home. <laughs> dunka, 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 dunka. <laughs> okay, the next part we're going to get into will be planks. Planks, planks, planks. Low impact version would be her being on her knees on the floor. And then she'll just put her forearms on the floor. 
The big thing is keeping her back as flat as possible and holding this position for at least 30 seconds. Uh, the advanced level, the knees come off the floor and she holds that position. Now, we're gonna do a one minute round and off of this minute round, I'll let you know every 15 seconds and Sabrina will change positions. You can either hold the normal plank position or try to follow Sabrina along and do a different position. Are you ready, Sabrina? Yes, sir. All right, we'll start off first 15 seconds, go. She's holding a normal plank position. And that's 15 seconds. She's gonna to go to her side, one arm's up. She wants to be looking up at the ceiling and she's balancing on her other arm, keeping her back straight and her core tight. And that's 30 seconds there. She's gonna to go to the other side stacking, looking up to the ceiling, palm. And that's the 45 seconds, so Sabrina's gonna go to her plank, and she's going to, what are you gonna do? She's gonna bring her knee in and out, knee in and out. And that's the one minute. I'll just do one more. Just lift the leg up, one leg up, down, then the other leg up, down, keep going. And time. There's a lot more that we could do from there, but I, you know that, that, that would be a good start for you now. From there, you're gonna go to your back. We're gonna finish out with some more abs or core exercises. So let's uh, put your hands underneath your hips, both legs up. Now you're just going to go circle around and up and then change direction, circle the other way, down and up. Now from here, this is where the small of your back might come up in your arch. If you feel that happening, then don't go so low with your legs, make it a smaller circle. Let's do five more. One, down and up. Two, you want your hands underneath your hips to kind of keep your hip off the floor so that your back stays flat. One more. And time. Okay, from there, let's do alternating hands or legs. One leg up, one leg down, head off the floor, ready? Go one and hold. Two, you want your legs to be kind of a three, 90 degree angle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 more, go one, you can do it. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Outstanding. Put both feet on the floor. Now from here, Sabrina's gonna lift her hips up off the floor, squeezing her glutes, and then setting them back down. Ready? Go up and hold, and down. Two, down, three, high as you can, down, four, she keeps her shoulders on the floor, five, lifts her hips up, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, her hands are flat down to the sides, down, one more, ten and hold, Nine, high as you can, eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, set it down. From here, bring your right leg up, grab it, stretch it, 
Try to get hold to keep your legs straight. There you go. And put your other leg down on the floor. So we're going to go through some cool down stretches. You want to flex your ankle back. Keep the knee as straight as you can. If you want to bring your head off the floor and reach a little higher, that would be great. And all these stretches you want to hold for about, you know, 10 to 15 seconds or longer for each one. And switch, other leg. Grab it, stretch it, hug it, hold it. Flex the ankle back, straighten out that knee. Pull yourself into that stretch. And you never want to force the stretch, so the phrase, no pain, no gain, you know, you want a minor discomfort. You don't want to feel pain. You don't want to injure yourself. And release. Now you're going to do a glute stretch, so she's going to fold her uh, left leg on top of her right knee and pull both knees into her chest. So you can see she's stretching her glute. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> and switch legs, other leg. There's a little, there's an advanced version of doing this stretch if you're real flexible, which Sabrina will demonstrate next. Where you're from a seated position, she folds and she'll bring her knee in and then she'll kind of push herself into her leg. You feel more of a stretch doing that? Mm -hmm. Again, you want to hold these for anywhere between 10, 15, 20 seconds each. Switch legs. Are we sweating? Okay, now Sabrina, if you could square off or center off over this way and put your feet out as wide as you can and stretch forward. How are you guys doing at home? I hope you got us are having a great workout with Sabrina. And we're going to have new routines that we'll be videotaping coming up in the near future, so stay tuned. Up. Fold your right leg in and stretch over. Square your shoulders, stretching over towards your left leg. Keep your chin up and reach forward. Again, if you feel any pain or discomfort, don't push yourself as far as you can. Just gently work the stretch until you feel minor discomfort. And as you progress or move along, you should be able to go a little further. Up. Go to the other side, fold your left leg in, stretch to your right leg. And up. Now bring both legs straight out in front of you. Arms up, take a deep breath. Exhale, reach down to your toes. Now, low impact if you can't go forward. If you can sit with your back against the wall and kind of use the wall to kind of push yourself forward, you'd grab at your knees. Middle impact, you'd be able to grab at your calf muscles. And then, you know, uh, a more advanced stretch is where you can reach your toes or the bottom of your feet and stretch. Now, if you can take your elbows and touch your knees with it, You'll even feel more of a stretch. <laughs> and Sabrina's not there yet. We're working on it. <laughs> and up. Butterflies. Bring your feet in. Tucked in as tight as you can. Now again, you don't want to force leaning forward. You just want to kind of just gently relax, stretching forward. And just breathe. Every time you exhale, you should be able to go a little bit for a little bit further forward. Don't force it, just relax into it. Try to keep your back straight. Oh.
and stand up. From there, you're going to put your left arm out, grab the fingers, peel them back, stretch out your forearms. So those of you that do a lot of boxing, a lot of stick fighting, a lot of impact stuff with your hands, these would be great stretches to do on a regular basis. Even if you uh, are, are at a desk working a computer, uh, these stretches dealing with carpal tunnel or any other type of uh, situation or problem that you might have, with your wrists and forearms, this would be a good stretch for you to do. Switch hands. All she's doing is peeling those fingers back. Again, not towards pain, but a minor discomfort where you're feeling a good stretch. Okay, now she's gonna lock her fingers and stretch to the right. You know, make sure it's over. Stretch your sides. And you can see I was doing it with her, okay. <laughs> and up, other side. Yeah, let's get the stretch going. <laughs> and up. Put your left hand on your neck, stretch it over towards your left. Up, other side, same thing, hold these for about 10, 15 seconds. Up, and you are done. Give yourself a high five.